Good morning, guys. Rubber band conversion wasn't quite the way I'd intended to go. Um, it will eventually be a radio controlled electric car. But having done the rubber band conversion, I did wonder whether I could put radio control steering on it. So that's what we're looking at here. That's that chassis with the front end modified for steering. Now I need to find some suitable um, wire to use for the axles, stub axles, because I need to make short ones that will just go through through there. So now that's the inside, so go from there out. Wheel sitting on the outside. They need to be capped in some way. Have a um, cover on the inside, stop the axle sliding out, obviously. And because I'll need to add a servo and a receiver and a battery to control the steering. I have made this a little bit weak. Um, it needs an extra support at the front there, which I forgot to do before I printed it. But it'll probably last long enough to actually see whether it works. What I'm hoping to do is be able to uh, unglue, disconnect the gearbox from this one and glue it straight into that one to save me a little bit of work. Well, that came off okay. So we've got the gearbox in place. I need to go and have a look for a couple of screws to screw the top down. And a bit of wire to link up the steering. Oh, and a servo and a receiver and all the rest of that. Uh, but more importantly, I need some stub axles. Well guys, I couldn't resist it. I'm supposed to be converting this to hobby grade radio control. But it's still rubber band powered. bits are all just tucked in there because this is just a, a side track from the proper project but it works I don't think 
I can wind it up enough for it to go all the way down there, turn round and come back again. But we can wind it up a little bit more than I did just then. broken this time. Well, I'm very pleased with that. I know I didn't let it go all the way down to the end of the kitchen, and I expect we could keep increasing the power, see how far we could go. But that'll do for now.